Hey everybody, Mr. Hames here. I am at a place called Big Rock Quarry in Big Rock, Illinois, out in the middle of nowhere. And there's a couple reasons that I'm here, but before I explain either of those reasons, I'm going to hike somewhere that's gonna allow me to better explain the point of this video. So, let's go. Okay, after about a 10 minute hike, which is not too bad, I'm in a much higher place than I was just a moment ago. You saw some views perhaps on my walk of a lake that was down there. Now that lake was made because that used to be a quarry that's now defunct and this whole place has turned into a forest preserve. And now I'm on top of kind of a lot of the remnants or sediment that was dug up out of that lake it was left on the side of that lake as this big hill that I'm on right now. I didn't come here to tell you about that. The reason I'm actually here is because I was here back in December, December 20th to be exact, just a day before the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year and the first day of winter. Today, things are different, okay? It's not cold as you can see around me. There's a lot of bugs here. It's a pretty hot day today, high of 90 degrees earlier today. The sun is setting now, so of course it's cooler. But today is just two days after the summer solstice, the longest day of the year and the first day of summer. It's June 23rd. Now, why did I choose to come back here in the summer when I was here in the winter in this very place? Actually, because I was inspired by this video that was sent by our own art teacher, Miss Meserol, as she is vacationing in Iceland right now. Check it out. Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Meserol. I am camping in beautiful Vic. Iceland um, and it's midnight yeah can you believe it there's so much light too much light for midnight how does that happen Mr. Hames you have to tell me how is it possible for there to be 24 hours of sunlight here how about that daylight at midnight now first of all Miss Meserol I gotta say I'm jealous because you are in one of the places that I yearn to go someday before I die and that is Iceland and the first thing we have to do to consider the answer to your question is where Iceland is located on a map. Just think about how much farther north Iceland is than where we live in Sycamore, Illinois, specifically in the United States. It's almost at the boundary of the Arctic Circle. In fact, the Arctic Circle is just off the northern coast of Iceland. So you are basically in the Arctic. Now with that thought in mind, you gotta come back here to where I am, and I am in unincorporated Big Rock, Illinois, on top of this man-made mountain by myself. Remember when I said I was back here in December with my kids? Now the reason we were here is, well, A, we were killing some time, and B, we wanted to see the sunset from a unique place. That, and we took a lot of pictures. <coughs> <laughs> so you can see my oldest three, Nora, Jack, and June, thoroughly enjoying themselves on a much colder winter day. And we captured some stunning views of the sun setting actually in these farm fields here just behind me. However, there's a few key differences between the sunset back in December and the sunset here in June. For instance, let's first consider the time of day. Back in December, when the sun set, we were here at 4.26 p.m., the later side of the afternoon. That's when the sun was setting and it was getting dark. However, today it's about 8.20 right now and the sun is still in the sky. In fact, it's not due to set for another 14 minutes at 8.34. There's another factor to consider though. It's not just the time that the sun dips below the horizon, it's where it sets on the horizon. And we already know that the sun here in the Northern Hemisphere always rises in the east and sets in the west. Depending on the time of year, it'll shift a little bit farther north or south. 
For instance, if we look closely at the horizon behind me and we look at some features on the landscape to identify exactly where the sun set at 426 p.m. on December 20th, you'll notice it's much more in the southwestern sky than the northwestern sky. So why is that? What's going on here? Is the sun moving? No. Is Earth moving? Well, kind of. See, what we have to realize about Earth is that Earth is tilted on an axis. The Earth stays on that axis as it revolves around the Sun. So depending on where the Earth is at in its revolution around the Sun, sometimes that axis is going to be leaning towards the Sun, and sometimes that axis is going to be leaning away from the Sun. Now think of this. When you lean in towards something, you're allowing yourself to be exposed to whatever that thing is by leaning towards it. If there's a hot fire in front of me, if I lean my face towards it, I'm gonna feel more heat, as opposed to if I lean away, I'm gonna feel less heat. It's also going to illuminate my face when I'm closer more than it would when I stand back. That's essentially what Earth is doing. When the Northern Hemisphere leans towards the sun, it allows it to be in daylight for a longer period of time and be warmer simply because its axis is positioned in the same direction as the sun. In the wintertime, it's exactly the opposite. The axis is still there. However, Earth's at a different point in its journey. It's on the other side of the sun. So the Southern Hemisphere is now leaning on a tilt towards the sun and the Northern Hemisphere where we are is leaning away, shortening the days and making the weather much colder. Of course, you also have to factor that the Earth is spinning too. So if we use summer as an example, say June 23rd, just a couple days after the summer solstice, by the way, the summer solstice is when the Earth is just tilted most towards the sun. It is the longest day of the year. There's more sunlight rays making contact with the Northern Hemisphere, which means when it turns and the Earth is exposed to the sun, Whatever point is on that globe is in the sunlight for a longer period of time. Now the cool thing is, is this is exaggerated even more the further north you head. So the northernmost hemisphere, specifically the Arctic Circle, when we reach summer solstice, which is exactly when Miss Meserol seemed to be camping in Iceland, the days get really long, nearly 24 hours to be exact which means you're experiencing daylight or at the very least twilight all of the time in June. So this is true, the further north you go, the more daylight you're going to experience because the sun has an opportunity to be shining on that portion of Earth for a longer time because of where that location is along Earth's axis. So there you have it, Ms. Mesrol. Thank you for your question and I hope you're having an awesome time in Iceland. And to all my viewers and students out there, I hope you're having a great summer. Whatever it is you're doing, I hope you're disconnecting a little bit, finding some time to rebuild and renew you before another school year starts in August when the days are still warm, but just a tad bit shorter than they are now. And now you know why. See you guys.